Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambaloff. Welcome to Journey Through Genesis. Today takes us to chapter 5, verse 21 through 24. When Enoch was 65 years old, he became the father of Methuselah. Enoch lived 300 years after the birth of Methuselah and had other sons and daughters. His whole lifetime, Enoch was 365 years. When Enoch walked with God, and he was no longer there, for God took him. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It's a beautiful event. Mary was taken up into heaven without having experienced death. And it's a beautiful honor, and we celebrate it. Well, Mary wasn't the only one taken up into heaven. Elijah the prophet also was given that beautiful gift. He was taken up to heaven in a fiery chariot. Read all about it in the first book of Kings. Yes. And the third person in the Bible that we know that was taken up by the Lord and not experienced death is Enoch that I just mentioned here. So what can we derive from the other two people given this beautiful honor about Enoch and what it means to walk with God? Well, the Virgin Mary and Elijah have some very important things in common. The Virgin Mary, of course, had a strong belief in God and accepted God's Son as her Savior, accepted her literally right into herself, and followed her Son, and was compelled to do charitable works for others, taking care of her cousin. She also wasn't spared the pushback from the world, for the world does not share the values of God. And she had to flee across the Sinai with Joseph and the infant Jesus and live as an exile for many years. That must have been very difficult. Elijah the prophet had some similar things happen to him. He was called by God to prophesy against the king, to go against the king and tell him that he was wrong for worshiping all these pagan gods. And after he had destroyed all the pagan gods, the king went after him and he had to flee across the desert, hiding first in a valley by a brook, where the Lord brought him bread on the beaks of ravens. And then when the brook dried up, he went to hide in a Canaanite village of the Sidonites with a widow and her son. And then later on, he was able to experience the presence of God from a cave. So both Mary and Elijah believed in God, followed God, and suffered from the world that's very, that has very many people in it that do not want God and punish people who do have faith. So I imagine in walking with God, the more we really strive to walk with God every day of our life, we have to understand that it doesn't mean it's going to be an easy walk. It doesn't mean there isn't going to be pushback and there isn't going to be problems. There could be many great problems. And just ask Elijah, and just ask the Virgin Mary. So my suspicion is Enoch had a similar experience in walking with God. He very well may have had to flee for his life. He might have had uh, ostracization or, or harm caused to him by his neighbors. We don't really know. But in giving the great honor of never having to experience death makes me think that Enoch walked with God every day of his life and lived out his faith fully, no matter what the world threw at him.